Hey guys, Tover here with the Nerd Filters Battle Blog, bringing you a little bit of a gameplay footage I shot a couple days ago on Zavod. I'm running my tryhard class right now. It is an assault with a MTAR. I do believe I have. Actually, I don't even know what pistol I have right now. Um, but this is my normal tryhard setup. Uh, it's a full medic class like, with uh, defib and med pack, and the whole nine yards. Um, this was shot just a couple days after Christmas, so there's a, a lot of noobs, a lot of people enjoying uh, the way that these maps are set up by being idiots and going up top. So um, you can see, you know, these guys are not the, the greatest of athletes right here, if you know what I'm saying. But um, what I find kind of funny is that uh, when newer players get into these lobbies and they, they find out that you can go up on the roof, everybody kind of clamors up there. And it really kind of takes away from the, the gameplay for all the players on the map. Um, much like, you know, running running a shotgun and just uh, staying down below. But, yeah, in the days after Christmas, I found the safest place was actually all the way down here. And in, instead of being up top because uh, all the noobs are upstairs, you know, launching tubes down, noob tubes down, and, and the whole nine yards. So, uh... I, I have a pretty interesting uh, piece of gameplay here, and and the reason why I'm showing is because it's it's, it's pretty varied as, as far as the way that it's uh, being played. You can see I see the guys up top, and at this point, I'm I'm pretty frustrated. I've been shot from the roof, and now I got somebody up top. So I'm gonna go over here to recon, and as you can see, I'm gonna go ahead and set it up with the MTAR. And I have an SUAV out as well. Now, I'm not going to act like I'm one of those guys that you've seen on YouTube that can get 29 kills in a row with a SUAV. Um, but I have been practicing, and I'm getting to the point where I don't crash into the side of buildings very often. Um, so I'm, I'm just going to find myself a nice little spot. I was going to go all the way out. I saw that guy. I decided to... Uh, get off his kill screen so he didn't know where I was and uh, I'm gonna go back here and uh, the best place I think on this map is actually where I just was all the way up against the Connex box uh, because then you don't have snipers that can see you as you see right here I'm very exposed and luckily what I find out when I get up top is that th the snipers are, are not on the roofs anymore so uh, this kind of surprised me, you know, because this is the reason why I got the SUAV. So I swing down and around, trying to avoid everything. And I'm going to go through this building here. And as you can see right there, whammo. There we go. Got that roadkill. Um, and I actually try to come back down and around, and I'm pretty, pretty happy with myself for getting one. And I try to cut that corner too tight, and I blow it up. But I, I'm going to go on to, um, to have a pretty good life here, I believe. Um, you know, the MTAR shoots through ammunition um, pretty at a pretty alarmingly quick pace. And I'm going to come around the corner here, and I do believe I run into a couple guys. Maybe not. Oh, maybe not. Oh, yeah, there we go. And what's going to end up happening is I'm going to deplete my ammo, and because of the way that Battlefield 4 seems to be... We do not have very many people running support. This isn't a class that that pays off very well. It um, the the guns. I don't really care for the LMGs at all, and I, I believe that most players don't either. Uh, and I know people love the airburst when they first get in the game and they run around like idiots. You can see I'm begging for ammo here. Um, but yeah, people love when they get in the game to just start spamming that air burst around. There we go. I don't know how that happened. I, I, I've I never actually been able to grenade inside of a Connex box. If you uh, watch the Fail Fridays on Friday, I, I threw a grenade that I thought went in. Ruckus has uh, convinced me otherwise. It never actually went in. But I do believe that uh, DICE has like a barrier once that door starts getting closed that... A grenade can't get in there. Maybe that's just me. Okay, now I'm starting to get a little frustrated here, <laughs> obviously. This isn't going uh, to plan. I'm still number one on the leaderboard there. I think I was 11 and 5 at this point. I'm going to stick to it, though. I actually do have a, a nice little comeback coming up here pretty quick, I believe. 
like I was saying, that the support class, we, we need more guys running ammo. We also need more players running assault. Rockus and I have talked about actually making a how-to video when it comes to running assault. This is a nice little exchange here. Threw it on the med pack. I got somebody down there. Step up, and I get him. And I believe there's... No, maybe there is isn't a nice little exchange. But um, we've talked about making a how-to run a medic. Because I don't think most players understand how to do it effectively. It's very rare that I get revived in a, in a match. It seems like if I'm on a good team, then it's going to happen. If I'm on a crap team, there, there's no way. And I, I, there's been several times I knew I was going to lose the match uh, early in the game when I when I come across like four or five guys in a little area. And uh, this is kind of funny here. You get this guy. That guy's just hiding in the corner. Doesn't even see me. Come back and get him as well. Anyways, yeah, early in the match, you, you, you come across four or five guys, and you take uh, all of them out but one, and the last guy finally gets you, which is kind of to be expected, and then it, you see that one guy reviving everybody in that group, and it's at that point I know I'm, I'm going to lose. And because it's kind of like uh, in football, they talk about the turnover battle, and the, the, the team that has the most turnovers is the most likely to win. It's it's like that in, in uh, team deathmatch as well. I think most players think it's, it's about killing, when actually it's about uh, it's about staying alive and ke st keeping your team alive because it's all a, a ticket-based uh, game. So if one of your guys goes down, it's actually better to revive him than it is to kill one of the guys because now you have a, a better chance of coming back. So here we go. I'm down to 26 bullets here. 13 left. Last guy. Get him with the last bullet. I'm going to come over here and I'm decide I'm going to take his kit. Now, right when I bring the gun up, I know. We finally got ourselves a support, so I'm going to go ahead and throw down ammo. ammo it's just a little up. ammo pack, but that's good enough for me. Come over here, pick up some ammo for the MTAR, and I'm back in it. And actually, I don't think I actually get somebody at this point. Um, I, I, I do believe I take somebody down to like 10, 15, 20 percent, something like that. And uh, that's about it. If I, if I had any, which I never even hit the uh, if I had any ability to aim, that guy obviously would have been dead. But back to what I was saying, the, the assault class is probably the most important class. So, you know, if you keep your team al alive, you can do it more effectively. And a lot of people don't understand about charging the paddles or don't take the time to charge paddles when the situation's there. Okay, ooh, miss everything. You see I'm charging the paddles up here. I'm going to revive this guy to 91, so if he immediately gets taken out, he's still a, a, eligible to be revived once again. And most players don't understand that. They'll just revive somebody, leave them at 20%, and if they die before their health gets over a certain level, I don't, I don't know exactly what it is, then they're not eligible to be revived again. So, charger paddles. If you don't have time to charge your paddles, throw down a med kit so the guy starts the regen of the health, that process. And you're gonna um, you're gonna be more successful as, as a medic because you know popping them up at 20% in the middle of the firefight really isn't doing anything unless he's got a med kit to at least get him started and, and what. So you know the classes I think uh, people don't understand how to how to play them effectively and it definitely you know when you're on a team and and you, you have people that don't know how to use their tools effectively it really really takes a hurt. It really hurts, the, you know, your team. So understand what the class is doing, how to run them effectively. And uh, we're going to get that winning percentage up for that team, especially when you're playing with a, a, a higher, with a, against a whole bunch of people with higher levels. You know, you're, you don't stand a chance if you don't know what you're doing. So, you know, we need to all collectively figure that out. You know, when you're running sniper, it's it's great to, to snipe people. It's also good to have the tugs out in the field so everybody knows who they are. And to tag and locate people on the map is one of the most important things I think snipers can do is, is locate people on the map so everybody knows who they are. Okay, just did not want to go down. Because, you know, if you have a if you have an idea where they are, you, you have the leg up already. So, like I said... Use all the tools, all your little gadgets there. So you see I revive him and I throw down the health right away. 
and it's up to him at that point to, to heal a little bit. Obviously, he didn't. He just took 10, 10 healing points, basically. So, yeah, we're going to be working on these how-to videos on the different classes. I think those should be pretty good. I know a lot of people think that they know everything about everything, and I know I don't. So I'm just going to share with you what I know, and hopefully we can uh, start the conversation to collectively get better. So... I thought this was a pretty interesting uh, game. I think the uh, play styles varied quite a bit. Using my brains in a couple different areas for once. And uh, I had a good time making the video. So I hope you guys had a good time. Please like, comment, subscribe. Favorite? Visit thenerdfilter.com. Check us out. Every day we're uploading videos on our channel, TNF Battle Blog. Hope you guys like them. So we'll see you next time. Have a great day. Bye-bye.